Alright, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I'm back with another Modern Warfare commentary and today I am finally going to be reviewing Warzone. Now I know, I know guys, I have not uploaded or made my first ever Warzone video just yet here on the channel, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I haven't been playing Warzone at all. In fact, <laughs> I've been playing Warzone a lot more than multiplayer as of recently and that is probably the reason why I haven't gotten my next gold gun yet. <laughs> but all jokes aside, the main reason why I haven't uploaded a video on Warzone yet is because I wanted my first ever video on Warzone to be my first ever dub on there and that has not worked out quite yet. <laughs> my closest game to winning was second place and yeah we don't talk about that and my best game in terms of highest kills was 11 kills and that is the gameplay you guys are currently seeing right now so I hope you guys enjoy that but I've been playing a ton of Warzone that I decided that it's finally time to make a review on it so yeah guys with that being said let's just go ahead and get started. So Warzone how is it? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it mediocre? Honestly guys I personally think that it's very good it's actually pretty fun as well I mean obviously it's fun I've been playing a lot more than multiplayer but <laughs> oh my goodness guys it honestly came out way better than I expected I was honestly thinking that Warzone was gonna be you know very campy making it bad and not enjoyable but it's actually fun it's actually like crazy knowing that I think more people on Warzone are running around than they do on multiplayer and sure many can say that the reason why that is is because of the gas that closes in but even that I don't know I feel like people don't just stay in the house the whole entire game no they actually move around and again it might be because of the loot and all that but I just find it pretty crazy and surprising that <laughs> more people are moving on Warzone than on multiplayer I mean we got a ton of buildings on here but nope people are still deciding to move at least in my game Please. Now don't get me wrong, some people do like to camp on here, I have ran into a lot of campers as well, but I don't know, it's just, it doesn't really piss me off as much as it does on multiplayer. Like on multiplayer, every time I die to a camper, oh my goodness, it's just a rage inducing moment, but here on Warzone, I don't know why, it's just, it doesn't really piss me off that much, because, maybe because I don't run into that many, or I just, I don't know man, it's just less rage inducing on here. The map itself, if I'm not mistaken, is three times bigger than Blackout's map, and it might actually be bigger than that, because the whole map of Verdansk is just humongous i mean we got a ton of points of interest and i like the new aspects and features that they added to it as well like for example the money system the buy stations the contracts etc all of these new features are pretty innovative to me because the money system i like how you can find a bunch of money by killing enemies or even looking for boxes which that is another pretty cool innovation that call of duty made where they added blue boxes and gold or orange boxes if i'm not mistaken the blue boxes contain items that could be rare, legendary, you know, it could be of all items that are common, rare, legendary, epic, or uncommon if I'm not mistaken. But the orange boxes always contain at least two uh, items that are legendary or maybe one and then one epic. So obviously you're going to want to look for the orange boxes more than the blue ones. But getting back on the money system, I like how you can get money by opening boxes, killing enemies, or just finding it around the map. And then you could use this money to spend it on the buy stations where you could buy many things. You could buy kill, kill streaks, you could buy field upgrades, uh, you could also buy teammates back if they're already dead. Like for example, let's say one of your uh, squad mates die completely and he cannot redeploy anymore. Well, if you have 4,500 in cash, then you can redeploy him um, and he'll be back in the game, which is really cool. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is um, an ability you have until the end of the game. Like you, It doesn't matter if you're in the final circle. As long as you have the um, right amount of money and there's a buy station in that final circle, you can redeploy your um, dead teammates uh, as many times as you want. Also, the kill streaks on here are very balanced. Like the precision airstrike, it's pretty balanced on here. The UAV as well. I thought the UAV was going to be horrible because, you know, it's going to detect everybody on the whole entire map, which I think it does that actually, which is crazy. But it only lasts for like 30 seconds. And even though it lets you know where everybody is at on the whole map, I mean, it's, you're obviously not gonna remember um, after it's gone where everybody was at so yeah it's not really that crazy OP but it is really good obviously. The contracts are also pretty useful and cool. If I'm not mistaken there are three different contracts right now and those are the bounty contract, the scavenger contract, and the recon contract. So the recon contract is um, one that you pick up and then it's gonna put um, a certain area on the map near you and all you have to do is go there and capture it like you're capturing the flag or the headquarters or the hard point of multi player if you have more people standing on there obviously it'll take less time and once you complete that you're gonna get a good amount of money the scavenger contract is one where you pick it up 
and then you're gonna have to look for three gold boxes that tells you exactly where they're at and once you collect all three of them or open all three of them uh you'll get a good amount of money but not only that the three gold boxes once you open them they give you good loot and again since they're gold or orange they give you good loot so the last box i've noted um that it always gives you two gas masks and one legendary weapon along with money and maybe a kill streak or a field upgrade so yeah, this contract is probably my favorite one because not only do you get money if you complete it, but you also get good loot on the way or on the journey to completing it. And the final contract is the bounty contract where you simply pick it up and it's going to put a bounty on the nearest enemy. And all you have to do is kill the enemy and then you will be awarded with money. As you guys may have realized already, money is very important in Warzone. I mean, if you have a ton of money, you could easily buy a bunch of UAVs and... Actually, the only unfortunate part about that is that you cannot stack kill streaks. You can only have one kill streak at a time. If you try to get another one, it'll drop the current one you have and replace it with the one you just finished buying. Like for example, if I have a UAV currently and then I buy a shield turret, it's gonna replace my UAV with a shield turret. It won't delete it, but it'll just drop it. So I, I wish that you could hold like two or three kill streaks at a time, but hopefully that'll be an update in the future. <laughs> but it, having a lot of money in Warzone will be very good because you could buy a lot of kill streaks, you could buy uh, field upgrades uh, like a munitions box, or you could even buy your dead squad mates back if they're dead. Not only could you buy those three things, but you could also buy a loadout drop where you purchase it, you drop the canister wherever you want it to land. Once it lands, you go to it, and then you just go ahead and choose your own custom loadout. You could have a sniper and your favorite assault rifle literally in like the first three minutes if you get six thousand uh, dollars. Now I'm not exactly sure yet how I feel about this. I mean, right now I actually like it. I love it in fact i like how you could you know purchase a loadout drop uh for six thousand dollars and then you could easily get uh your own custom loadout but i can see why some people may not really like that because it does kind of take out that looting factor out of the game i mean once you have your whole entire loadout already um just by getting six thousand dollars then there's no reason to loot anymore and that's obviously something bad because <laughs> that's gonna cause people to start you know already camping and everything and instead of just looting and looking for good loot but Again, I don't really care right now. I actually like this thing and it's pretty cool, man. I like how you can just get all of your favorite weapons literally in like the first couple minutes if you are lucky with money. All right, now I want to talk about the Gulag, which is probably the most innovative feature or aspect in Warzone or any Battle Royale game for that matter. So the Gulag is basically like a camp or a prison that you go to where you 1v1 a random enemy that has also been eliminated. And if you win, you're back in the fight. You redeploy from the sky, falling down to your teammates or wherever you want to and you're back in the game but if you lose then you're done you're not gonna redeploy anymore and you're gonna have to hope and wait for one of your teammates to buy you back and guys the gulag again it's the most innovative um feature i've seen in any battle royale game i mean it's just so cool i've never seen any battle royale game uh giving you the ability to redeploy if you win in a 1v1 after you die. Not only that, but I also like how the gulag looks. It's just all torn up, broken down. You got people uh, screaming in the background when you're 1v1ing. If you win, it gets louder. It's just really cool. And <laughs> I forgot to mention that you could also throw, if you're a spectator waiting to, you know, 1v1 somebody, you can also throw rocks at your opponents or at, at the people 1v1ing, unless they're your teammates. And these rocks actually stun them a little bit. It doesn't necessarily do a lot of damage to the point where they could kill them, but it does stun them a little bit, which can, I guess, give the other opponent an advantage. Uh, not really, though. I'm not really sure. I've never... I've been hit by a rock multiple times when I'm in the 1v1, but it doesn't really affect me that much. It does, it's not like a concussion or anything like that. So, yeah, if you get hit by one and you die because of it, well, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> the last thing I want to talk about is the player count, which is 150. And you know what, guys? That is amazing. That is more than Blackout already. I mean, <laughs> when Blackout launched, we only had 80 players on launch, like on the whole entire map. And then it slowly went up to, or quickly, I should say, went up to 100 players. But... Here on Warzone, day one, we already had 150 players, which is amazing. But the only problem with that is that you can only do trios. You cannot do quads, which is very unfortunate because you can only do teams of three and, you know, that fourth person you wanted to play with cannot play with you because, you know, it's only trios. And I'm hoping that Infinity Ward in the future raises the player count to 160 at least because that will make it fair right there for quads. That will be uh, 40 teams of four instead of, uh, I don't know, uh, three teams of 50 or 50 teams of three, I meant to say. So 
Yeah, I would prefer that. And I heard that it's actually going to be coming in the future. I heard that they're even going to do um, squads of five, which is pretty sick, man. I <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a Battle Royale game where you have squads of five. So I for sure cannot wait to see that happen. And also the map is very big. Like I said, it's like three times bigger or more bigger than that than Blackout's map. So it would only make more sense to add more players to the map than just 150. Or at least more players in a squad than just three. Because... I don't know, three in a map that big, just, I don't know, I feel like they could have done a lot more, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the future, and I hope that one day they actually increase the player count to 200, because, <laughs> I mean, think about that, guys, 50 teams of four, 50 teams of four, that would just be insane, I mean, Wow, I, I, again guys, I'm just waiting man, but anyways guys, that is pretty much all I wanted to say about Warzone here on Modern Warfare, and my rating for it would be a 9 out of 10, straight up, I, I was about to say 10 out of 10, but it would be a 10 out of 10 for me if um, we had quads, if we had like teams of 4 or even teams of 5, and you know, again, I'm not complaining about the player count, we have already 150, that's perfect, but at least like 160 so we could have teams of four and then it would be a 10 out of 10 because warzone is just very good and i can see it getting a lot better than it already is i mean <laughs> oh my goodness guys but thank you guys so much for watching make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so you guys are letting every single time whenever i upload and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about warzone so far do you guys think this is a really good battle royale really bad mediocre anything let me know again I think this is really good, really amazing, and I'm just waiting till I get my first dub. Once I get my first dub, I promise you guys I'm going to make a video on it immediately. And oh my goodness, guys, I've been so close to getting it. My closest game against second place, and this gameplay you guys are seeing in the background is my highest kills gameplay. So yeah, I just, oh my goodness, guys, I've been so close, and like I said, once I get it, you guys will see it immediately. But for the last time, I'm going to be back on the grind, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like, and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Thursday. And with all that being said, it's been John, ready to get back on the grind and take my first dub here on Warzone pretty soon, pretty soon, maybe even tomorrow, and I'm out. Peace.